Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking through studying science at Halewood Academy. Now, Halewood Academy obviously offers lots of different subjects and science is one of the core subjects along with English and math. So you have to study these three at GCSE. Now there's two options at GCSE. First one is combined science, which gets you two GCSEs. The second is separate science, which gets you three GCSEs. Now it doesn't matter which one you're studying, you have to actually study all three individual specialisms. So you learn about biology, chemistry and physics, whether you're choosing combined or separate sciences. Now, there's lots of opportunities for practical work, but as a minimum, you have to learn about 21 required practicals for combined science. And because separates gets an extra GCSE, you have to learn about 28 required practicals in separate sciences. Again, it doesn't matter whether combined or separate, both will give you qualifications to allow you to progress onto A-levels in science and for other subjects. Now the course encourages you to develop knowledge and understanding of science and work through things scientifically. And what that means is problem solving, all right? Having experimental skills and strategies to think about things and carry uh, processes out, being able to analyze and evaluate things and also learn about scientific vocabulary and quantity and units. Now, you have to complete a certain number of exams at the end of your GCSE course. Now for science, it's six papers in total. Now, it depends on whether you're doing combined or separate, it depends on the length. The combined science papers are all one hour and 15 minutes, and every one of the six papers is worth 70 marks. So each paper equates to a sixth of your GCSE. So that's what it says on front of you, 16.7% round up. Now it's broken down into two papers for biology, two papers for chemistry, two papers for physics. So paper one has these topics here, cell biology, organization, infection, response, and bioenergetics. So again, biology is all about studying life. And that's what it breaks down to, life study. So this is learned about human body, different organization in plants and animals, all right? And how we infect, uh, study infections and respond, uh, respond to those infections for example, coronavirus, and also learning about bioenergetics. So how energy is released um, within uh, an actual living organism. Second paper looks at different uh, topics again, homeostasis response, so our body controlling itself, inheritance, variation, evolution, and ecology. Chemistry, now chemistry obviously to do with all chemicals and studying matter, all right? Now it's broken down into 10 topics, chemistry, five on the first paper, which are outlined here. So atomic structure, periodic table, bonding, chemical changes, and so on. And then the second paper has another five topics on there. And they're outlined in front of you. Now, as I say here, all the paper two questions may draw on fundamental concepts from some of the paper one topics, okay? Now, every paper is made up of a multitude of different types of questions, multiple choice, structured, short answer questions and longer answer questions. Physics, it's all to do with laws of the universe. Okay, you see here, particle uh, model of matter, atomic structure, energy and electricity. And the second paper for physics, forces, waves, magnetism and electromagnetism. All right, and again, same structure, all one hour, 15 minutes, all 70 marks. Now, all those six papers have a higher and a foundation tier. What that means is, depending on where you're working at, you will be entered for a higher tier, which gives you the options of grades four to nine, or a foundation tier, which gives you the highest grade of a five. And teachers will help guide that decision uh, later on in your GCSE course. So that's the outline of the combined science. Separate is exactly the same, except you'll have to do an extra third of the work because you get an extra GCSE. So there's more content, you have more science lessons a week. And again, science teachers will help direct you if you should be choosing separate sciences. Any questions, contact Mr. Worrell, who's the Senior Leader Science at Halewood Academy, and he'll help answer any queries. Thank you very much.